to its own people. I mean, I, honestly, I, I, I don't know of a worse lie one could tell other than a, the, 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 a lie to take a country to war, mm -hmm. to make up things, to take people to war. That's just got to be the most obs obscene, immoral thing um, to do. So, so this government hasn't earned the right to be trusted. If it says Assad has chemical weapons or if it says Ahmadinejad has a, a nuclear weapon, um, but it's not this government, is it, that went to war with Saddam? And you, have to, you have to differentiate. What, what, which government? You're talking about Obama versus Bush? Yes. No, 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 I'm talking about the real government. Wall Street, the banks, the corporations, the people that made $2. trillion is what we spent on the Iraq war. Who made that money? Soldiers in the field? I don't think so. No, no. This is always about the people who have the purse strings and the politicians who are bought off by them. And so if they come on now and tell me anything about this, you know, Ahmadinejad is building a bomb. Really? Well, I'll believe it, you know, when he walks in the room here with it and shows it to me. Frankly, I mean, that's really, that's just how much I would not trust anything being said by the military-industrial complex of this great country.